Hi guys, in this video we're going to do a little bit of pathology and look at the two types of disease. We're going to first define pathology, then look at infectious disease, uh, talk about pathogens and a few different definitions from pathology, and then we're going to look at non-infectious disease. So firstly, pathology is the study of the causes and effects of disease. This is different to epidemiology, which is the study of how diseases move through a population. So this looks at, basically on a cellular level, the cause, and on an individual level, the effects. One way in which we can class different diseases is by the cause, or whether they are infectious or non-infectious. Now, an infectious disease is one that can be transmitted from person to person, the person being the hosts, and is caused by a pathogen. Now, the pathogen is usually a microorganism, but not always. So here I've used a whole heap of big words. Let's have a look at the meanings of some of those words. So firstly, a pathogen is a biological agent that causes disease, so it must be a living thing. A microorganism is a microscopic single-celled organism. Uh, so most pathogens are microorganisms. However, not all microorganisms are pathogens. For example, this picture is a micrograph of Lactobacillus acidophilus, uh, which is actually a, or one of the healthy gut bacteria that are found in our digestive system. So this actually is an, a microorganism that makes you healthy, uh, as opposed to a pathogen which makes you ill. Now, the host is the person which is infected with the pathogen. So the host has the pathogen inside them. Transmission is the movement of the pathogen from one host to another, and this can be directly, uh, for example, sneezing and somebody, and somebody breathes in, or it can be indirect involving a vector. Now, vectors are biological agent that transmits the pathogen, but is not harmed by it themselves. So an example of a vector is the mosquito, the mosquito carries the disease malaria, however the mosquito is not affected by the disease malaria. So therefore it is a vector of that disease. Now for a pathogen or for a microorganism to be considered a pathogen, it must do a few things. So it must be able to firstly enter the host without being destroyed. Uh, then reproduce in or on the host, in the case of pathogens that infect the skin. Uh, then needs to have enough virulence. Now this is when it starts actually causing disease, and the amount of virulence is a measure of its ability to cause a disease. So a particularly virulent uh, pathogen would cause disease quite easily, while a less virulent pathogen would not cause disease or not cause diseases easily. And then finally, it needs to escape from the host in which it's caused the disease and move to another host, therefore uh, infecting that host, uh, getting our infectious disease. Uh, so a pathogen needs to do all of these things in order to be considered a pathogen. So finally, non-infectious disease is the opposite of infectious disease. Uh, it is not caused by a pathogen and cannot be transmitted from person to person. Rather, non-infectious diseases are by bodily processes that aren't working as they're supposed to work. And there's a few ways in which non-infectious diseases can manifest. They could either be genetic, being something that's passed down from a parent to offspring. They could be related to your lifestyle, uh, including the food that you eat, or nutritional diseases, as well as the amount of exercise and things like that. Or they could be caused by environmental factors, such as the ingestion of heavy metals or asbestos. In this video, we've looked at pathology being the study of the cause and effect of diseases. And we've looked at the two classifications of those diseases by cause, infectious diseases, which are caused by a pathogen, a pathogen being a biological agent that causes a disease. So infectious disease can be passed or transmitted from person to person uh, via that pathogen. And we've talked about non-infectious disease, which cannot be transmitted and is not caused by a pathogen. 
Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.